Hello and welcome to Doubling in Journals and today I'm working in my everyday carry traveller's notebook from Traveller's Company. I am going to quickly go through what I did last week and then I'm going to set up for next week. So I'm still doing my daily sketch in my little pocket journal but I decided that I would pick one of my daily sketches to do in colour and I was doing cakes this week and I had such a busy weekend. So this was a really quick little colour pencil drawing of a slice of cake, but it's done. And I think I need a sticker here. But other than that, I might add another cake here later in the week when I have a bit more time. So I'm really happy with that because it means I will actually work in my sketchbook if I pick one thing each week to draw in there. That's not too onerous. And then in my dated journal, I decided I was just going to be doing sort of little snippets of gratitude, things that went well, things that happened that I enjoyed. So I decorated this page and I wrote my snippets in and I'm using the top to do my forward planning because it's dated and I think that's really useful. Happy with how that's going. So let's have a quick look in my bullet journal. So I set it up for August. I'm using the colour theme of yellow for my August month because it makes me think of sunflowers and I think it's such a lovely bright summery month. We want a nice cheerful colour and obviously I don't seem to have very much going on in August at the moment although I could write in here that my partner has holiday booked and he has it booked from the 16th of August and then also 23rd of August and I'm not quite sure which day my son is going back to school yet so we're waiting for a letter to tell us when or an email or message or however they communicate these days so that we know which day is actually going back to school but it will be some point in that second week so that's done I've got a little bit of blotting paper <laughs> and I started filling in my wish list that I'd like some more washi tape that was on my wish list from my last journal still haven't chosen any and some MU ribbon stickers so if I decide to buy some of those I will show them to you and I want larger blotting paper so it's blotting paper is still on my wish list because it was on my wish list last month and when I bought some it came and it was really teeny tiny and I'd really like a piece that's like the size of my page it does work but it's very very small for my goals I've put weight loss as always and I'm starting a 30 day self care journal challenge. I have a video up on my channel about that if you're interested and I really want to try and work on exercise. I put three trackers in here but I'm actually tracking my weight loss in this book because I'd already set it up. Didn't do very well this week, nothing, nothing. So since I've started I've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven weeks and I write in here what I lose each week and then I colour in the squares because that's my goal to lose all of these pounds. And so far I've done seven, seven weeks and I've lost seven pounds. So pound a week is quite healthy weight loss. I'd love it to be quicker but you have to be patient and it's slow but sure and so I'm more or less happy with that. I'd just love it if it just all fell off all in one day. <laughs> I don't think that's ever going to happen. It goes on all in one day, but coming off is a different matter. I did my week, and as I said, when I sort of decorated this, I felt like I'd filled it up with stickers and not left myself much room. For my focus of the week, I picked this card. I just pick a card at random from one of my tarot decks, and I got this beautiful watercolour painting and this deck of cards is called the Hidden Realm and they're all Fae. So this little fairy, who I think is absolutely beautiful, I would love to be able to watercolour like that. One day, I'm still practising, one day I'll be able to. But this was the Three of Swords and this card is all about how sorrow and pain are part of life. And that feeling them and processing them and responding to them are all sort of a healthy thing to do in response to things that are painful or sad for you. However, I was thinking about this and I was thinking about how thoughts can become obsessions and the way in which we think about pain can have an effect on the natural process of healing and can actually cause you more pain. And that led me to think about the notion of 
intrusive thoughts. Now, as you know, if you watch my channel, I have complex PTSD, so I struggle with intrusive thoughts. But when I was looking this up, I was really, really interested to see that the, the, the idea is that almost everybody has intrusive thoughts and they're not necessarily an indication of a mental health disorder. I mean, sometimes they are symptoms of a mental health disorder and sometimes they're not and there's something that everybody has and some people are able to deal with better than others. So that's kind of catastrophic thinking, having inappropriate thoughts, self-harm, ideation, doubts about your relationships, maybe trauma memories, all of those kinds of things. Or they can just be random weird thoughts, things that you'd never actually want to do and don't sort of really understand why the thoughts popped into your head. So I was thinking about this and I was researching on the internet and I discovered that there's somebody at my door. I just got interrupted by the door, never mind. So I was saying that when I was researching, I discovered that the average person has around 12 to 60,000 thoughts a day. And sadly, 80% of these can be negative thoughts. And I thought, well, that is definitely an interesting thing to focus on for my week. So one of the things that I looked up was what we should do if we're struggling with any unwanted and intrusive thoughts. And the ideas I came up with were to label the thoughts as intrusive, recognise them for what they are, accept them, don't try to sort of struggle with the thought, perhaps educate yourself a little bit in the how the brain works, although obviously <laughs> that's all very well, but not even the most expert scientists really understand how the brain works. But understanding that these thoughts are just things that are happening in your brain or to your brain or whatever your worldview is on brains <laughs> and that you should just gently move your attention to something else so practicing grounding techniques trying to avoid trying to search for meaning in unwanted intrusive thoughts they're not potents of anything they're not things that you really want or they're not things that you need to try and understand you just need to let them go and carry on with whatever you were doing prior to the thought and so now I want to set up for next week and I thought I would try a bigger spread this week. I'm just looking for my ruler. So I'm going to do a two page spread. I tried this kind of two page layout in my pocket and I liked it. So I thought I'd try it today in here and I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. So I'm just going to divide my page into eight sections. You could measure if you like everything to be incredibly neat. So I just eyeballed it. <laughs> and I've divided up my page. And of course, I do want to use my Distress Ink. So as always, Tim Holtz, Distress Ink in Gather Twigs. And I'm just going to rustic up my page. So that's that done. I'm sticking with my yellow colour theme and I quite I haven't got much in the way of yellow things. So I've last week I used some watercolour and I think I'm going to do the same. But obviously I've got a big space to fill here because I need Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I'm just going to watercolour that so it can dry while I'm decorating my page. I might have to give it a helping hand as I'm videoing and impatient anyway. So I'm going to pick my sort of decorative part of my page. I'm just going to add this lovely yellow, which will make my page go all scrunchy and yummy. Okay. And then I'm thinking I'll put a little bit of yellow washi tape on the bottom here. Like so. I want to write in my days of the week and the date. Now, what's the date to start at this week? It is the 9th. Is that right? Yeah. So. Okay, so I've done that. 
I think I told you that my dog ate my glasses, which was really, really sad. And I had to go and get some new ones. And I had them for less than a week and I lost them. I can't find them anywhere. Luckily, I bought one buy one pair, get one free type offer. So I have a spare pair. But if I lose this, I'll be blind again. So oh, who knows where they went? Could be anywhere. I suspect that my dog's had them again. <laughs> Like, I'm so careless about where I put things down. Right, I'm waiting for that to dry. And so I'm going to start just putting in. I don't have very much to do this week. It's going to be an easy peasy week. So I know my partner still has karate on Thursday. And my son has dance on Friday. No piano lessons in the summer holiday. We have no agility this week. But exciting news, our dog ovulated at the weekend and she went and met her puppy daddy <laughs> and they did the deed. And so now we're waiting with fingers crossed to see whether or not she's pregnant and whether she's going to have puppies. So that's really exciting. Now, Wednesday, I want to do one of my watercolour videos because I didn't do it last week because I wasn't feeling very well, which was a bit sad. So I want to really want to do one this week. So I'm going to pop that in. For my meal of the week last week, I came up with this one, which was a suggestion from my sister. Thank you, lovely sister. And it is tomato and red wine braised aubergine with fried nochi. So there's an exciting new recipe for me to try. And so I am going to do that tomorrow. So I want to pop in to make sure that I give myself time because it's a new recipe. And I don't know how long it will take me to cook. So I want to remember that I'm cooking Tuesday afternoon as I'm not going to dog training. And I don't know that I have anything else that I much need to put in here. All my groceries, they come Friday morning. And that's important to remember. So I do need to find some things to do this week to fill up my week. Or shall I just relax? It has such a busy weekend. that I might want to just relax. <laughs> Anyway, I want to add a bit more decor to this page. I've got this lovely little sticker, which has got a yellow flower on it. It's not a sunflower. I did find some sunflower stickers on Etsy and I ordered a sheet. I don't, I'm just hoping they come before I finished my sunflower theme. Just ripped that sticker. I'm so clumsy. Very, very clumsy. I'm always losing my glasses. There we go. It doesn't matter. It'll be fine. Okay. And then I picked out this little flower and I thought I would use this. So I'm just going to emboss it. So I've got my piece of paper, my little flower, some Versamagic watermark, which is a glue ink pad. Just pop my flower into the glue. And I've got this really cool embossing pad, which is like white and gold. I was using it when I was making pen pal letters and I thought how lovely it was. So I'm going to make one for myself. I get my little flower out. There we go. Pop that on there. Just want to put my embossing powder back into my pot. There we go. And all I need to do now is heat it with a craft heat gun so that the embossing powder melts. So I'll cut this out so I don't blast your ears. Okay, so I have made my little flower. So if you can see how cute, also pretty that golden white embossing powder is. Really like that. I have a little cog little tiny cog that I have already embossed in gold and I'm going to stick that onto the middle of my flower because I think that would look cool. Still got this rubbish glue. Okay and I want to pop my little flower here and then I think I'll take a sticker. Let's see what have I got in here. Ooh. I think that one looks nice. So this week I've given myself loads of room and I've got hardly anything to do. <laughs> That's so difficult, isn't it? But who knows, it might fill up and I might need to write lots of things in there. So I've got a week planned. Now I do still want to have a to-do list because that's sometimes handy, isn't it? 
So I'm going to do that on the next page. So let's get some more yellowy washi tape. Add a splash of colour. It's such a quick and easy way to add colour. And I want to do a to-do list. So let's just do a little one like this. And a to-buy list like I did last week because I find that quite useful. And the to-buy list probably needs to be bigger than the to-do list but not necessarily. And let's just add some boxes. And then I had an idea that I could use some of this paper that I was cutting out ephemera from and I could use it like a stencil. So let's see how that works. It may or it may not. Let's try it with yellow. So I've got some Distress Oxide ink in mustard seed. And see if I can add some sort of pretty yellow flowers to my page. Yes, let's put a little one there as well. Cool. <laughs> it's quite good fun. Let's put one, a big one here. Because I normally just like, you just like throw this bit away, don't you? And there's another little daisy shaped one. And then I will get my brown one back yellow hands now and I'm going to do this twig shape I wonder if that's worked oh <laughs> I don't know why I'm finding that so exciting oh dear It's kind of cool to be using something which is just a leftover waste bit to create something else. Right. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh dear. So I have done my weekly page. I've done a to-do list, a to-buy list and a space to have ideas and notes which I thought might be useful. And then of course I want my menu plan. So for my menu plan, I'm going to use my grid to help me. And I think I'll use a ruler this time so it doesn't look so scruffy. There we go. So we've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I think I will use some washi tape this time when I say this time I've been using washi tape all over the place and I'm going to see if I can find some food stickers because this is my menu page I got these ones that's a really strange cat oh I really like that one does it go should I go with the black black ones? I think I'll go with the black ones. And maybe this really bright one with a yellow with a little eye in it. I should have put that like that. Okay, so fairly simple because why not be simple and leave yourself lots of space? She says, wanting to put more. <laughs> Put this little funny cat. Yeah. Okay. And I know we're having stir fry today. And tomorrow I am going to try my red wine braised aubergine. So this is a vegetarian recipe. Nutchy. Wednesday, I'm going to do carbonara. And Thursday, curry. 
and I thought I'd try a vegetarian curry this week. So we're going to have a paneer and almond, not almond, cashews, Pan paneer and cashew curry. Okay, so I've started on my menu plan and then when I order my groceries Thursday night for delivery Friday, I will decide what we're going to have for those days and I will find do some research or talk to my sister <laughs> and see if I can find another new recipe to try this week. So happy with that. And the last thing that I want to do is prepare a page ready for my focus of the week. And so I'm going to take some of this lovely bright tissue paper and glue that in, I think that way, and a piece down here. Punch some circles. I'm a bit obsessed with punching circles at the moment. I've got another spot I can punch a circle. There we go. And I'm going to glue some circles on. So one here. And I think I will add a little ticket. Down here. And what shall I do to finish that off? I've got some lovely coffee ones here. So let's go with one down there. And this one I think I'm going to put here. Okay, so that's all ready for my focus of the week next week. And I'm so excited because my lovely partner, who I love very much, <laughs> has gifted me a new deck of tarot cards. And they come from America. They're by an amazing watercolour artist. Well, I think she's an amazing watercolour artist. I really love her work. And I can't wait to start using these new tarot cards because... Even though they're a bit dark, I think they're going to be really good for self-healing work. And the guidebook that she's written to go with it is amazing. Loads of really, really good questions, journaling prompts, reflective thinking prompts and so on. And I have videoed an unboxing of them and a quick flip through, but I don't know whether or not anybody would be interested in that because not everyone's as obsessed with <laughs> tarot cards as me. But if you'd be interested in seeing that, let me know and I might pop it up on my channel. So this week, we're still yellow. <laughs> we're still yellow, sunny, sunny sunshine colour. And I've set up my week and I've got loads of space there. So I need to find some things to do. I made my little flower and I've decorated with some really scruffy boxes here. I need to sort this out because I can't keep doing scruffy boxes like this, can I? And I did some stenciling and I've got a place here to write my ideas and notes this week. I thought an ideas page would be really useful because things pop in my head and then I forget them again. I've got my menu planning page here. Forgotten to put my menu planner sticker in. So I need to find those and I'll just stick it there. And I've got the recipes ready and I've got my space ready for my recipe, new recipe of the week. And I've set up a little space for me to start journaling with my wonderful new tarot deck that my lovely, lovely partner has bought for me. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for joining me. I hope to see you soon. Bye.